Hello again, my name is Philip Magnus, and this is my show, Gaming Now. Today's main story of the day involves Overkill Software, developer of Heist Game Payday 2. I really dislike developers like Overkill. They build a good game, not a particularly expensive game either. Payday 2 only costs $20 and is often at a 75% discount. What I dislike about them is the fact that they have produced increasingly anti-consumer DLC packs. As of late, Overkill has introduced plenty of useless skin packs for $5 to $10 each, introducing them at a rate of about 2 to 4 weeks. And now, with this latest DLC, they have crossed the line. How have they done that? Simple, really. They have introduced pay to win in their game. Well, they're not that blunt about it, but when you introduce skin packs that change the stats of your weapons, then you've got a problem. There's a line, isn't there? A line between being a developer of your game and developing and adding to it over time, producing paid DLC, is alright. As long as the paid DLC has some value to the game. Most of the DLC, as of late especially, doesn't. It's hard to completely crystallize my thoughts on this particular issue. What I think is that Overkill Software is being very dishonest in the fact that they are making a game that has to be paid for, paid to win, not even a free game, and making your free game pay to win is just as bad, honestly. This kind of behaviour shows in fact a complete lack of dishonesty and disloyalty towards the customer. A customer that has made the game successful. Also it cheapens, yes, it cheapens the labour so many players have put. When you play a game for hundreds of hours, get the best gear, that is a lot of labour you put into that game just because you want to, because you enjoy it. And when a company introduces a way to circumvent all this, all the time, all the labour you've put into the game, well, that is like spitting in the face of your consumer base. And it's very, very stupid. And I'm sure that it will turn even. The biggest supporters of Overkill Software and Payday 2 very much against the game. And I'm completely sure that this move, the latest in a string of bad decisions, honestly is going to alienate the fan base and it is going to make people regret spending the amount of time they already have. And it sure as hell won't help getting any new customers. At the end of the game, it is a sad reality that many developers cross a line that they shouldn't. Selling stat-boosting weapon skins in a $20 game is absolutely unacceptable and shouldn't be the practice. But it is. If you don't want it to be, you should not support it. Don't buy the game, don't buy the DLC, don't pay to win. It's as simple as that. It really is just such a filthy move, an overkill software's part. And for once, I'm actually glad that I didn't buy Payday 2. Because if I had, I would be even angrier than I already am. On to slightly more cheery news, we've got a new, awesome Steam Weekend. You can play two very good games on Steam for free until Sunday. One of the games you can try out this weekend is Grey Goo. It is 60% off and you can buy it for 18 euro. 
it is a very good slow paced RTS with three distinct races, each one with a fairly interesting and unique playstyle. The other game you can try is Chivalry Medieval Warfare. It is a very good game, medieval combat with bigger swords and a lot of other awesome stuff. It's a multiplayer objective based first person sword wielder and you can kill people with swords. And what else do you need in a world like this? Nothing. You need absolutely nothing to be happy. I love killing people with swords. Go to Steam now and buy them. Or at least try them. Try them and then buy them. Because both are good and you will want to buy both. Unless you're not into RTS or killing people with swords. And if you're not, that's entirely your problem. You should get help with that, really. It's kind of worrisome. Fallout 4 released a new trailer titled The Wanderer. It will make you pro probably squeal in the light. There are only a few games games days there are only a few days until the release of Fallout 4. Bethesda Entertainment's latest venture into the post-apocalyptic will be available on November 10th and you should probably buy it like right now. It will be awesome, I'm sure of it. And if you feel particularly nostalgic about Valentine's Day and you're very sad that there are four more months until it comes again, you can buy the Humble Weekly Bundle, which is very weird. It's called the Humble Valentine's Day Bundle 2. And I have no idea why they released it on... And I have no idea why they really... Well, yeah, you can buy a lot of romantic visual novels and one of them is Heartful Boyfriend which is a game where you play as a girl in a visual novel who picks a bird, a pigeon with whom to fall in love with. I don't mind anthropomorphic games but I drew the line at anthropomorphic dating sims. That one just creeps me out a bit too much. Hmm. Weird. Thank you for taking the time to watch this. If you have any thoughts, please leave them in the comments. If you enjoyed this, you can like, share, subscribe. Thank you for your time.